A competition to construct a new memorial and museum of citizens who died during the Euromaidan protests has begun in Kiev. For all of Ukraine, it is very important to preserve the memory of the Heavenly Hundred and the Revolution of Dignity so that generations of Ukrainian patriots are brought up in this example. And together with the families of the deceased heroes, we begin the procedure of choosing the project for the best monument, the Heavenly Hundred Memorial. The contest is meant to honor the men and women who perished during the Euromaidan protests in 2014. Its organizer is international architectural company Hasbach Limhaus, with headquarters in Germany. Architects from all over the world are competing to design the memorial. The first portion of funding for the contest, which amounted to about 100,000 U.S. dollars, was awarded by the Poroshenko Charity Foundation. We felt ourselves a great people, the creators of our history, and today it is very important to preserve this history for the next generations, and I believe that the Museum of the Revolution of Dignity will achieve this goal. The competition will be held in two stages. In February 2018, the memorial's designer will be chosen. On June 18th, the jury will then decide on who will build the museum. For the museum, we decided that we will make a two-stage process. So in, in February, when the jury is meeting, they're selecting the winner of the memorial, and from the museum proposals, they will select six, which are the best um, design ideas. 65 applications from 12 countries submitted bids for the competition. Relatives of the deceased Euromaidan protesters will also have a vote during the decision process. The museum and the memorial will both be erected in the center of Kiev. It is telling that it will be built in the center of Kiev. This will fulfill the expectations not only of the politicians, museum workers, relatives of the deceased and citizens of Ukraine, but of the whole world. This will help foreigners understand Ukrainian identity, understand what they fought for. The days of the Euromaidan revolution are remembered with the smell of burnt tires, flames and gunfire. The Ukrainians who died during the protests are forever remembered as the Heavenly Hundred. The name was chosen after around 100 protesters perished over the course of three days.